Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be watching episode 10 of season 1 of Bochy the Rock. Last episode was really cute, the band all went on a little holiday to Inoshima and they spent some quality time together and it was just really really nice to see them hanging out and also like seeing the kit aura. <laughs> I love the kit aura so much. It makes me so happy. <laughs> I'm also really proud of Bocce so far as well. Like thinking about where she was in episode one, even compared to last episode, is such a massive, massive difference. And unfortunately, they're back at school now, which it sucks for Bocce. <laughs> but I am still just so happy for her. And I think with her anxiety, I feel like it's improved a lot. And I, I, well, I feel like she's doing better in general and she's able to do more things and she still gets anxious, of course. It just doesn't seem to be as debilitating as it was at the beginning of this season. And I am just really proud of her for that. I think she's just done fantastically and I really love seeing her interact with her friends and the band and it's just it's really nice to see. So I'm excited to get into episode 10. Before we get into it, if you enjoy my content, please leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below as well. But without further ado, we'll get right into the reaction. Is this the culture festival? Ooh. Cool bocce. <laughs> Is this a daydream or an actual dream? Okay. <laughs> oh. oh no. Oh. Oh my god. I wasn't sure if they were actually going to do it, but maybe they will. Oh my god, Pachi with short hair. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> oh no. Her blacking out. That's so sad. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I mean, I feel like blacking out in general is a very real concern with mental health anyway. Like it's a sign of big trauma a lot of the time, but also maybe it's like an alter ego, <laughs> like an alter ego bocce. I'm not too sure what's going on here. Oh, Kita's there. It's too much, too much unity. <laughs> She's on the floor again. <laughs> no! Oh, she's telling the manager about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they're all gonna be hot. See, fun! <laughs> so true. <laughs> 
というか絶対ここより多い人数の前で演奏するわけだしだからそんなに焦って決めることでもあーまいそれサポーターおつや状態だったライブたまに夢に見るおよがりだったのかよちちゃんの悔いが残んないのが一番だからさそれは言えてますね Why am I gonna cry? <笑>と考えてみますうんうん私ハウスでの演奏も緊張してガチガチなのに文化祭ステージなんて<笑>やっぱり無理 She's done so well. Good, yeah, good work. Oh, she did it for her. She sounds excited about that, about a new thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So true. <laughs> oh, what? Oh my gosh, she practically lives there. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Oh, maybe she's super anxious as well. And it's just like a way for her to cope, which is really sad. How exciting! We'll get to see a new band. Say they haven't even arrived. Oh. <laughs> you have grown as a person. Young versions. Oh, cute. Oh, 
Yeah, where is she? Yeah, she's very passionate about that. That's so cool. <laughs> oh my god, the lights and the colors! They're so cool! <laughs> oh my god, I love these colors. It's so cool. <sighs> She's so happy. Oh. You can. She really doesn't realize how much she's improved. <laughs> oh my god, I thought so. Some anxiety is just perfectly normal. No, don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, she's starving because she can't afford food. <laughs><笑><笑> わお。<笑><笑> Oh. oh, it's so good that she's apologizing. Oh. Yay. That's so good. Oh my god, it's already here. Oh my god. <laughs> She's missing. Oh no. Oh my god. Of course, but she's missing. I wonder why she's missing or whether she's doing it on purpose. I'm not too sure, but I really, really enjoy that episode. It's so interesting because I feel like when you're in a severe or even just like any sort of like mental health crisis, like no matter how severe it is, it's so hard to evaluate yourself and recognize progress when progress has been made, like for yourself and your mind. And I feel like Bocce doesn't recognize a lot of that, which happens, but everybody else is recognizing it. And it's just 
like I can't wait for her to kind of realize like how much progress she has made or whether she'll eventually realize that she's made a lot of progress because I'm so happy for her I said this at the start of the episode as well but I'm so proud of her like even the act of going to a completely new place and a new club I feel like five episodes would have just incapitated her like she would not have been able to physically go there or like if she did physically go there she'd be trying to find a bin to hide in or something like that and she still sort of does that but I feel like it's on like a lower scale and that's just so cool. Regardless, I'm excited to see what happens next. I'm gonna leave it there though. If you have any thoughts or anything like that, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'll also leave all of my socials down below as well. So I do have Twitter, Instagram, a book YouTube channel if that's your sort of thing as well. And I also stream on Twitch. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day or night wherever you are and I'll see you all next time. Bye.